Hello there. Good to see you again. I'm uh, uh, going to Psalm 23. Uh, just a phrase in verse 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. He goes on to say, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, which is another uh, mind-blowing thought. But this thought, surely, or my, my Bible has a footnote of only instead of surely. Um, either way, it's a wonderful thought. Only goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I did once hear or read, I, I can't remember where I picked it up from. It's probably well known, but it's well worth repeating that goodness and mercy express the two parts of our salvation. The goodness of God that follows us, the goodness of God that goes with us, accompanies us. The goodness of God, the goodness that doesn't Give me what I deserve. The goodness of God that is always working things together for my good, for my blessing, for my benefit. The goodness of God that follows me and the mercy or kindness, loving kindness, the mercy of God, which doesn't give me what I do deserve. I don't deserve what God has given me in Jesus. I don't deserve it for a moment, and neither do you. We can never earn it. We're not good enough. There's nothing, there's nothing good in us. Anything that is good in us has come from God. It's not ours to claim. We're not intrinsically good. We're intrinsically evil. And it's the mercy, <coughs> the mercy, the kindness and the mercy of God that he doesn't give us what we do deserve and his goodness that he does give us what we don't deserve. It's very profound, well worth thinking about today as you consider how, how incredibly gracious and kind and generous God has been to us. He doesn't give us what we do deserve. He gives us what we don't deserve instead. And it's all from his love, his loving kindness extended towards us, his generosity extended towards us, his great rescue mission that he sent Jesus on to do the only thing that could change mankind's future. Jesus coming to the earth and giving himself for us, living a perfect life, never sinning, and yet paying the price for all sin, so that those who had no goodness in them at all could become righteous in the sight of God. It is the most amazing story. It's the most wonderful story that has ever been told in this world. But this lovely phrase here in this Psalm, Psalm 23, it's so familiar to us. The Lord is my shepherd. Every phrase in it so profound. People have written books on it. <laughs> and this phrase, this lovely, surely or only goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. This is our expectation that every single day that we live, whatever comes in that day, whatever sudden turn of events happens, whatever difficulty comes our way, whatever, God's goodness and mercy will accompany us because he is with us. He brings those qualities with him. He promised never to leave us nor forsake us. He lives in us. 
He is our constant companion. And you're never going to have to face anything that happens in your life alone because God is with you. Even when your emotions and your feelings tell you God is not there. And that does happen. When sudden events happen in the shock of everything and in no sudden alleviation of the difficulty you're facing perhaps, perhaps you're in a sudden situation, you're crying out to God and he doesn't seem to answer. It's a lie that he isn't there. He is there. He is there. And he's working on your behalf to turn everything that you're going through into good for you. And your response needs to be trust, assurance, certain knowledge that his goodness and mercy are following you, that his presence is with you, that his Holy Spirit has not left you. He hasn't suddenly forgotten about you or can't hear you. No, those are lies of the enemy. And we stand by faith when we don't feel his presence, when we can't when it doesn't make sense, when we don't get an immediate relief of the problem that we're facing, the enemy wants us to say God is not there. But he's a liar. He was a liar from the beginning. God is there. He's not left. He will never leave you. He will keep his promises to you. He is faithful and good. And his goodness and mercy will go with you wherever you go today. Have a great day. God bless you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.